said, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be my NXT TakeOver Respect prediction video. As you all know, I do do my prediction videos for WWE special events, such as the NXT TakeOver series and all the WWE pay-per-views. I also do the special events that we, you know, like the one we just had on Saturday just gone, uh, which was the live from Madison Square Garden. I've done a prediction video for that. You can see how well I did with my predictions. Um... Obviously, I couldn't do a review show for the Madison Square Garden uh, Madison Square Garden event, and unfortunately, I will not be able to do a review show for NXT Takeover Respect. It's purely because I work. I'm, I look. I'm working the next day after, and for these sorts of shows, they're not broadcast in the UK on the WWE Network until one in the morning, uh, and obviously, I need to be up at like six o'clock in the morning to go to work. So it's just it's not feasible for me. To, to be able to be able to stay up and watch this hopefully you know going forward i'll be able to just maybe see what i can do on that front maybe get up a little bit early just to try and get through the show and do a uh, review for it but I, I honestly don't know but i'm going to persist when doing my prediction videos at the very least even if i have to shoot them a couple of days ahead of schedule uh because i want to do my prediction videos i want to say what i think is going to happen on these shows and see how well i do um and for this 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 NXT takeover respect, unfortunately, I think I'm going to do very well. Uh, it's kind of predictable, and unless WWE want to do some spectacular swerves, which I would absolutely enjoy, and I I really want you to do that WWE. Um, I just I just think this pay per view this this uh, this NXT takeover respect special is going to be predictable for obvious reasons. Okay, so let's kick right off into what I believe will be the first match of the card, which will be Finn Balor and Sa uh, Samoa Joe versus, I believe they're called The Mechanics, Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder. And the fact that I don't know what their team name is means I don't think they're winning this, this semi-final. Samoa Joe and Finn Balor are going to win this and go on towards the final of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Um, it's just my prediction there. I just think that that's what's going to happen. Um, so moving forward, we'll then have the the other semi-final, which is Rhino and Baron Corbin versus Jason Jordan and Chad Gable. Uh, I don't think that that, that Chad Go uh, Chad Gable and Jason Jordan are at their height at the moment, uh, whereas Rhino and Baron Corbin probably are. And so it makes sense for me to have a Finn Balor, Samoa Joe versus Baron Corbin and Rhino final of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. That's just my prediction there. So they're the, they're the winners of their respective semi-finals. Finn Balor and Samoa Joe and Baron Corbin and Rhino. And then they'll go on to the final, which I'll be talking about in a couple of moments time. The next match I think we're going to have, though, is going to be Azuka versus Dana Brooke. Now, on this front... They're not going to have the new diva, who is Azuka, lose on a very first match on an NXT TakeOver respect. Actually, her very first match in NXT. It's not going to happen. Uh, I, it, you know, They may do a swerve and give Dana Brooke the win and then revisit this feud down the road. But I, I don't know. I, I doubt it. So my, my money is on Azuka. You know, with, with her being a very new signee to NXT... It makes sense for this to go Azuka's way at this time. And then if they are going to revisit down the road, then to give Dana Brooke the win down the road. But I think at the, uh, for NXT TakeOver respect, Dana Brooke is going to get you know her ass kicked and she will have to give some respect to Azuka. So that's just my theory there. Moving on to the next match, it's pretty much the same sort of scenario. We've got Apollo Crews versus Tyler Breeze. Um, this match... It's going to be an interesting match. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I, I am. This is probably out of all of the matches. Uh, this is probably my second uh, one that I'm looking forward to. Um, obviously, Bailey and Sasha Banks in the Iron Woman match takes the win there. But um, you know, the 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 rest of the card. This is probably my next favorite match after the main event. Uh, so we've got Apollo Cruz as I say versus Tyler Breeze. It's the same sort of scenario, scenario to Azuka. And uh, Dana Brooke with Tyler, Tyler Breeze being the person who has been in NXT the longest. Apollo Crews, I believe this will be his second TakeOver match. You know, I think he debuted at Brooklyn, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. So, obviously, second match, first time against Tyler Breeze. 
you never know. He might need. I mean, they might want to give him a loss. But if it's his second takeover match, I don't think it's going to go down that way. I think that Apollo Cruz will pick up the win, um, and we could see Tyler Breeze maybe moving towards debuting on the main roster. Um, replacing someone like uh, Damian Sandow who might come back to NXT just for a little bit just to get away from the uh, main roster cameras there but that's my prediction for that match I think it will be Apollo Crews' night tomorrow night so then we've got the final of the uh, Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic uh, as I've mentioned before I think that the final will most likely be Finn Balor and Samoa Joe versus Baron Corbin and Rhino now, I am aware that if I'm wrong by any of this, that I will immediately have three predictions wrong. Because, um, <laughs> obviously, if the Mechanics win the Finn Balor and Samoa Joe match, and then Jason Jordan and Chad Gable win their respective semi-final, then that means my prediction for this this final is immediately wrong, because the people who I think are even going to be in the match aren't, so I can't get the winner right. So, this is either going to be very, very good for me, or very, very bad. Oops. Uh, or very, very bad for me. Um, but I'm willing to willing to put my hands up and accept that there. Um, obviously, if it's going to be a Finn Balor versus Samoa Joe match, I think it will be uh, a Finn Balor and Samoa Joe match versus Baron Corbin and Rhino, should I say. I think that the most obvious winners of this will be Finn Balor and Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe's only just got into NXT you know, roughly about, I think, two months ago now. Uh, and Phil, Finn Balor's the champion. Although I would like some swerves there. I wouldn't mind seeing Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder pick up the win on their, their match. And I wouldn't mind seeing Jason Jordan and Chad Gable pick up the win in their match. Um, and in the final... Again, if we had a final of, the, of Scott Dawson, Dash Wilder versus Jason Jordan and Chad Gable, I'd enjoy that. It's a nice swerve. The WWE have plenty of opportunity here to do something interesting. We could have Finn Balor and Samoa Joe pick up the win in their match, but Jason Jordan and Chad Gable pick up the win in their match. So it's all up for grabs here, and WWE could do a few swerves here. They could have, as I say, Finn Balor and Samoa Joe versus Jason Jordan and Chad Gable. Um, in which case, my money's still on Finn Balor and Samoa Joe. Basically, in any kind of situation, if Finn Balor and Samoa Joe win their match, my money will be on Finn Balor and Samoa Joe winning the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Um, but, obviously, there's a lot of things that need to go down in a certain way for, for me to even have a look at this prediction. But my money is on Finn Balor and Samoa Joe winning the whole thing. Um, and Baron Corbin and Rhino winning their semi-final match, but losing to Finn Balor and Samoa Joe um in the final there we then have the big match this is the first ever female main event i believe in wwe for for the for, for at least the most you know for like the last 10 years i, I believe you know um on a pay-per-view or special event and that is bailey versus Sha Sha sasha banks wow i couldn't even get her name out there this will be a 30 minute Iron Woman match. I, I, it's down as an Iron Man match, but no, it's an Iron Woman match for the NXT Women's Championship. Now, if you're not familiar with the Iron Man match or the Iron Woman match stipulation, basically, whoever pins the other person the most gets the championship. As far as I've read, I could be wrong, and if I am, can you put it in the description below? But I believe that is basically what it is in a nutshell. I don't know whether there's uh, disqualifications or anything in it. I'm not sure. Um, but that is what I'm going with. Uh, and my money, again, this is the most obvious. It all comes down to what they're doing with Sasha Banks. Now, Sasha Banks has been in the Divas Revolution on the main roster for a while now. She was the NXT Women's Champion before that, and then she lost it to Bayley. So, it'll be interesting to see what WWE are going to do here. Personally, myself, they have to give it to Bayley. They have to have Bayley retain the, 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 the NXT Women's Championship. And the reason for that is... If they give it back to Sasha Banks, that will signal that they've lost faith with Sasha Banks on the main roster and they're bringing her back to NXT. So, in my mind, for Sasha Banks to even, you know, go forward, Bailey needs to win this match because if they don't and it goes back to Sasha Banks, to me, that's WWE kind of going, maybe we rushed her too much, let's send her back to NXT. And I think that might just damage Sasha Banks. So, for me personally... Bailey has to win. Don't get me wrong, I like both of these divas, but Bailey has to retain this championship. Sasha Banks cannot come back to NXT this soon. It will just signal that WWE have lost faith with her on 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 the main roster there, and so I don't want to see that. 
So Bailey must retain. Um, that's it. That's that's the card. We've not we're not seeing a oops, excuse me. We're not seeing a uh, NXT Championship match. We're not seeing an NXT Tag Team Championship match. Uh, all the only championship that's up for grabs is the NXT Women's Championship. There, um, you know, the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic has kind of like taken a lot of this card. I mean, obviously, it's got three matches here, um, but I just think that that's what this pay per view is about. It's about respect for somebody who passed. It's it's paying the paying homage to Dusty Rhodes, who, by the way, is was a you know. I enjoyed him whenever I saw him on on WWE or NXT television, um, and you know, in NXT uh, takeover respect, I respect Dusty Rhodes and uh, may he rest in peace. That's just my little thing that I wanted to lead off this um, this prediction video with, and I hope I just hope that everyone who's on this special event tomorrow night, um, you know, Finn Balor, Samoa Joe. Bailey, Sasha Banks, Dana Brooke, Azuka. I hope everyone just knows what this what this special event means, uh, and they give their respective matches everything they've got. Um, obviously, we know that uh, NXT and WWE is scripted, but still, let's make it a good night. Let's uh, you know honor Dusty Rhodes and other um, other wrestlers who have who have obviously passed. Um, you know, because that's what I think this takeover. Um, event means i think it's a respect to the to the people we've lost you know whether it's you know you know who have come before all the wrestlers in nxt and it would be interesting to see uh what comes out of this because if it's a if it if it is a terrible takeover um then you know they've got an opportunity here to pay respect to dusty roads uh and i hope that all that are involved tomorrow night do what do what do what they can to make this a good show just to you know just to respect dusty Rhodes and as i say all the other former wrestlers that i've have passed um but yeah that's that's my piece on the prediction so just to quickly go through who i think is going to win in their respective matches finn balor and samoa joe in semi-final one baron corbin and rhino in semi-final two finn balor and samoa joe in the actual final of the dusty Rhodes tag team classic Apollo Crews, Azuka, and Bailey. They are going to be my predictions uh, going forward. And let's see how many I get right. Am I right in saying that this is the most predictable card uh, for NXT TakeOver in a long time? I don't know. There could be a few swerves in there. And I hope I'm I hope there is, because to be fair, if the whole thing if I've got the whole thing right, to me that's a bad sign. I want a few swerves. I want to be wrong about a couple of matches, and I actually enjoy it when I'm wrong because it's like, oh right, I, I, you know, the most the WWE didn't do the most obvious thing going there. So that's my prediction video. Please like this video if you if you like it. Please subscribe to see more. The next prediction video that I will be doing will most likely be for Hell in a Cell, which is coming on the 25th of October. So you'll probably see my prediction video for that on the 24th. Uh. Yeah, so that's my piece. Bye now. <laughs> See you later, guys.